What's good, YouTube family? Thank y'all for tuning back into another video. Make sure to all like, comment, subscribe, and watch through this whole video. This puts me more in YouTube's algorithm and helps me to continue to grow and to reach more people while using the gifts and abilities that God has given me to glorify Him and His name, spread the gospel, and to make Him and His name known. To get into the cut, y'all, um, I'm taking a number one guard, and I'm going all the way up to where his braids are, and I had a number one guard closed on the Andes Master. Now, I'm going to do my bod line, and for my bod line, I'm going to set it in. He, he don't get a C cup, so I'm going to set it in from the bottom of his vertical bar, and I'm just basically take it straight all the way around the head. I'm just being consistent with it and making sure that it's clean. Make sure that your bod lines are nice, clean, neat, and even. The bald line is the foundation of the haircut, and it's going to play a big factor in determining how clean and even of a haircut and a fade that you can give. But y'all can see when I clear everything out, I'm just making sure that, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness, and I'm making sure that everything's clean. Keep your canvas clean. All right, y'all. So to begin a fading process, I have my Andes Masters with the blade all the way open. And since I'm cutting into a number one guard closed, I don't really need to flick out to establish my guideline. Say if he had like a four, then I had to flick out to make sure I don't dig in. But you're not really going to dig in too much because, like like I said, you're only going into a, to a number one closed, right? So I'm going to set my guideline in um, about three quarters of an inch to a full inch. Making sure that I'm consistent, making sure I go over things multiple times and brush everything in place after I cut up. Make sure that you want to always be brushing too. And then I'm going to close my lever halfway as you just saw. And I'm going to go halfway up that guideline. Now I'm going to close my lever one more notch. And I'm going to tap that bottom line. And I'm going to soften it up. Now I'm going to close the lever all the way. I'm going to hit the bottom line and take it out completely. And then after that, I'm going to do some lever play, or really I'm going to do some detail work. So I'm going to do some lever play, open and close my lever, my blade, when need be, and corner work using the last couple of teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to pinpoint dark spots, bring them to the light, and make the fade as smooth as possible. And if you're a beginner barber, or if, even if you're not a beginner barber, if you just have, if you just struggle with doing fades all the way around the head, I suggest that you do what I'm doing, and I'm going to explain it in a second. Um which is working in sections. So now, since I I know I cut with the number one guard closed all the way to the top of his braids, but that was with the Andes Masters. So now I have my Babyless Low Pros. And you can see I'm going with the grain right now because I want to cut that hair at the top of his, at the top of his braids, but I don't want to cut into his braids. So, but I do want to get that hair even and I want to get it, you know, laid down how I need it to. So, that, that's why I had the blade closed and went with the grain. So now I'm going against the grain, and I had the blade all the way open at first, going to the top of it, then I close it halfway. I close my lever halfway, and I come down on the fade a little bit, and now I have the lever all the way closed, and I'm tapping that bottom line. And I know that it's not going to take this line out completely, but it is going to soften it up really nice for me to be able to come in with my zero guard and take the line out completely. And like I said before, just notice how I go over everything multiple times just because I want to ensure that everything is, you know, the length that I need it to be. And this is what I was saying a second ago. So I like to work in sections. So usually I work from the front of the head to behind the ear and then from behind the ear to the back of the head. And I do the same thing on the other side. Now I have my zero guard on. Usually with my zero guard, I don't really lay the blade flat, but being that this cut is such a low cut. I can I can get away with laying my blade flat and uh, because of the big area that I'm working in, right? So most of the time though I look at the zero guard as a de I just like look at it as a detail guard or eraser guard. So I never put a line in with it. I only erase lines with it. So really I just do a lot of detail work with the zero guard, like I said before. By detail work I mean lever play and corner work. Lever play, open and close on the lever to blade when need be, corner work. Using the last couple of teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to pinpoint dark spots, bring them to the light, and make the fade as smooth as possible. And y'all can see, it's pulling this fade together, y'all. It's definitely pulling this fade together. And right here in the back, I just did this just to show y'all. And I just like how the Andes Master fade. But instead of using the Zero Guard, I just went ahead and I used the Andes Masters with the blade open. And y'all can see how I'm tilting my clipper. Um, if you don't know that trick, well, if you tilt the blade... It can either give you more or less space from the hair. 
But basically, instead of using my zero guard, y'all, I used the Andis Masters with the blade open. And um, then I just went ahead and I did some detail work with the Masters. It's just one of my favorite clippers. And um, I just love how it cuts. So usually I come back and do detail work with it. My message for today is make Jesus known and make Jesus shown. That means... By looking at your life, you should resemble Christ. And by looking at your life, people should be able to see that you believe in Jesus Christ. I got two verses for y'all. One is Matthew 5, 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Also, I have Luke 12, verses 8 and 9. Also, I say to you, whoever confesses me before men, him the Son of Man will also confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. So that's my message for today, y'all. Make Jesus known, make Jesus shown, let your light shine before men, and accept God before men. And, you know, let your life be glorifying to God. I hope that y'all like that message. Y'all can see though, and when I was giving a message, you can see what I was doing. I was prepping, I was prepping for my lineup. If y'all want to really learn the details of how I prep a lineup, you you just seen pretty much a good majority of it. Uh, really, I just cut his hair down and then I cleaned it and um, used some holding spray. But I'm also making an online academy. If y'all are interested in really, really learning the details of of the haircut, God is in the details. So very important thing to learn and. I feel like I can really teach. I know I can really teach y'all a lot, um, a lot more than I can on a YouTube video. But y'all can see, man, for for the lineup, I really start from the front of the head. Um, I work my way to the side. Once the front meets the side, I tap the vertical bar in, and then I just rinse, repeat, do the same thing on the other side. Here, I'm using some Kiss Express, and um, I'm just going in very lightly. Um, when I use enhancements, I don't like it to look like super enhanced. I like to, uh, I like a more natural type of look. Um, yeah, I just don't like it like super, super dark. I just want it to be like a smooth, subtle, super clean and hence, you know. Throwing some hair fibers on, on top of the, just the, like I said, if y'all want to know the details of what I'm, what I'm doing, why I'm doing, I am making an online academy and I'm going to provide a lot of valuable information in there. So I love to see y'all in there and I'm going to be going live with y'all probably once a month, uh, just a, what a haircut though, for y'all to be able to ask questions. Right now, y'all, I'm tapping this mustache in. Um, not making it too skinny, but still like shaping it to the shape that's gonna make sense for, you know, his look. Y'all can see super clean, sheesh. Y'all see that fade too, the line up at top. Man, I love this game, y'all, it's so fun. God is so good, I love creating. Y'all can see I tap in under his beard, tap the back of his beard in. Y'all can see his very, his hair is very light. He's um growing his beard, so it's like this. Anytime a client has light hair like this, you don't have to dig in to to make it crispy. Just just cut. You know what I mean? It's gonna come together. Y'all can see this thing butter, very butter. Lineup extra crispy. You know, as Haven would say, you see Haven in the background. Him and, his, him and his clients be having a joke. They be saying Popeye's. Like, you know, Popeye's chicken. They do funny. But y'all can see, man, I'm just using my, um, y'all can see for the razor work, I'm using my Crispy Lines razor. Shout out to uh, Crispy Lines. They had show love and sent these razors through. They gave me four razors, two duplicates. So I had gave Haven and the pink shirt in the background. That's Haven the groomer. If y'all want to look him up, he's uh, about to get on YouTube too. He's been on YouTube, but he's about to start posting again. He got, I motivated him to um, start posting again. But, yeah, shout out to Crispy Lines for the razors. I love them. Um, some of the best razor holders in the game, for sure. I love them. I'm just uh, doing some razor work, y'all. Y'all can see I cleaned up his forehead, cleaned the hair up his forehead. Um, I went ahead and I cleaned the hair from his mustache. Instead of just leaving it like that, I went in with the razor to raise the top of his mustache, just like you do the top of his beard. And this is the final product, y'all. So if y'all was able to sit through this 10 to 11 minute video of me, um, let me know what y'all think about this cut in the comment section. I truly appreciate y'all. If y'all came to my channel because you like watching barber videos because it's satisfying, I hope that it satisfies you. If um, you came to learn something, I hope that you take something from my game, apply it to yours, advance in your career, your craft, and your life. And if you came for the message, I hope that it reached you and it touched your heart, your soul, your mind, and your body. Thank you for tuning in to The Late Show. 
Um, man, I'm just, I just want to just say, man, God is so good. I'm grateful. I'm humble at Jesus' feet. Without Jesus, I'm nothing but a filthy right inside of God, and I can't do anything with Jesus. I am the righteous of God, and I can do all things. And uh, all the power, glory, honor, praise, kingdom, be to God, man. God is the greatest. Also, I just want to take a minute to thank y'all, man. Without y'all, there wouldn't be me also. So I definitely love and appreciate y'all, and I, I appreciate the love and support that y'all continue to give. This is a month back on YouTube. I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. If you're a producer, you make beats, and you're trying to work, Hit me up. Thank you for tuning to the Late Show. Hope to see you back on the next video. And God bless.